Welcome back to the Smithy Spotlight. I'm Jake. I'm Jared. Uh, we asked a couple of people what the last song they listened to was, and here it is. What was the last song you listened to? Uh, Mr. Do the Dash by Baby Tron. Can we listen? Go for it. Refused to be outperformed. In the drop top, heard you stuck in the house with chores. She ain't throwing neck, Jazzy Jeff, throw her out the door. Exotic Virgil's pretty year. Yeah. What was the last song you listened to? Uh, Miley Cyrus, Party in the USA. Can we take a listen? All right, you can stop filming. Go. What was the last song you listened to? Jellyfish Jam by SpongeBob. Let's take a listen. <laughs> what was the last song you listened to? Something in the Orange by Zach Bryan. Can I take a listen? Thank you. What is the last song you listened to? Uh, Wasted on You by Morgan Wallen. Can we take a listen? What is the last song you listened to? Lost by Frank Ocean. Can I take a listen? Yes. What was the last song you listened to? Laboratory by A.O. Drip. Can I hear some? Of course. Yes, sir. Uh, what was the last one that you listened to, Jake? Um, let me take a look. Uh, it was Will I See You Again by The Sacred Souls. It's a, it's a banger. I think the last one I listened to was Happy Face by Jaguar Twin. Pretty good song. I have to try to listen to yours soon. It's pretty solid. Um, uh, let's see what the FLC did in their cooking contest this Monday. Man, that food was delicious. It looked, it was, them were sizzling. Uh, now let's head it over to sports. With their win over Redmond, the girls basketball team have claimed a part of the WCAL title going 12-2 and in the league. The boys basketball team is still in contention for the league title. The boys are the third seed in the tournament draw and will play at home February 21st. Spring sports are getting ready to start as our winter sports are coming to an end. On Thursday, February 16th, there is a parent meeting for all spring sport athletes. The boys' schedule this week is a game tonight at Northwestern and a freshman game tomorrow at Chippewa. The girls have a tournament game against Wellington on Thursday and the wrestling team has a meet against Clear Fork on Saturday. Good luck, Smithies. Now for some interviews from our baseball team. I'm here with Jared Reed. So Jared, what would you say a personal goal for you this baseball season would be? Uh, I'd like to have no errors this year. Uh, what would you say a team goal for the baseball team would be? I'd like to sweep Norway this year. And do you have a personal favorite memory? Uh, upsetting Norway in the tournament last year. So I'm here with Jace Leach. And he's a baseball player. So, what are your personal goals uh, for the year? My personal goal is to make varsity and pitch 85 off the mound. And what are your team goals? One count. All right. I'm here with Mason Shutt. And you are a freshman. All right. So, what are your personal goals for your baseball season? One of my personal goals is to have an ERA under three. And that is? An earn run average. What do you want to ha uh, see happen to the team? I'd like us to beat Norway. Are they a rival of yours? For me, yeah. And how are you feeling for now playing in high school, coming that you now you're a freshman? I feel like I have to just play a lot better than I did in middle school. There's like a lot of better players on the team, so I feel like I'll have to step up my game a little bit. Thank you. So I'm here with Mr. DeMassimo, and I'll be asking him a few questions. So as a coach, what goal do you have for yeah. this season? 
Yeah, so this upcoming spring with uh, baseball, uh, you know, personally, I've always had goals just to, you know, to work hard, um, be the best I can, and then in turn try to get the best out of my guys uh, to work hard at practice, um, you know, being on time, uh, doing the, the, the fundamentals correctly, and, and ultimately to just, just having fun. You know, the great thing with baseball is the weather's turning, we're getting into the spring, and, and it's nice outside. You know, what a great opportunity to be out there and, and competing a little bit. And uh, um, so, yeah, I think the, a little bit, you know, personally. And, and I think from a team perspective, you know, I, I just want to see us improve. You know, every day, come to practice, work hard. Um, and wherever you left yesterday's practice, I want to see you be better the next day. Um, and, and I think that's just not only in sports, but in everything we do. We should always, you know, try to do that. So. Yeah, yeah. So as like a whole team, you already touched on a little bit, yeah. but where would you like to see them go? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I think every coach and every team wants to finish the top the, you know, the WCAL. Um, but again, I, I want to see us, you know, obviously with that goal advancing, you know, through the, uh, uh, through the tournament, you know, that's always a, a big goal. Uh, but I don't think you can reach those goals until you reach your own personal you know, I want to see my athletes, my guys set their own personal goals. Mm -hmm. And each day as, as an individual, as a team, you get better and better. And, and the league's tough. I mean, you're looking at Wayndale, you're looking at, you know, Dalton, you're looking at Norway. I mean, those, those are top teams. Hillsdale, um, it, it's, it's, always a, it's always a tough league. So, um, you know, get better each day at practice. Um, you know, it's tough being inside, you know, to start. It's more times than not still snowing and cold outside when we get started here in, an, in another week. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, get better each day as a team continue to get better and, and, and see what happens. Yeah. I, I, think we can, uh, I think we can surprise a lot of people this year. Mm -hmm. so. so where would you say, like, where do you think you're going to be in this league? Yeah, you know, again, I, I'm not going to say, you know, a specific number. Mm -hmm. um, but I do. I think we can finish at the top. We've got a lot of returning players um, that have, have some great talent. We've got some young guys coming up that can support it. So I fully expect us to finish, you know, top of the league. Well, I hope that happens. I so. appreciate it. Yep. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, bringing back a thing we haven't done in a while, it's uh, time for the interview. Here we have Wyatt Scarl and Trey Dursing from the swim team. Uh, welcome to the show. So we have some questions for you, so give them your honest answer. Uh, how has the season gone so far? Um, it's gone pretty good so far. Yeah. Uh, Trey's done amazing. Um, I've been pretty good for my first year, I think. Yeah, it's gone pretty good. Why it's been improving a lot, so that's that's really good. Are you enjoying your time on the team? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. I have also been enjoying my time on the team. It's very like I don't know, a close team because there's not a lot of people on it. How many people are on the team? Well, we practice with uh, Orville and Dalton. I mean, it's so like. Just, Smith, there's two of us. It's just, it's just there's two of us, but like we're kind of all together with the other kids from the other schools. Mm -hmm. So it uh, makes it it's a really close group and it's a lot of fun. It's really good. Nice. Uh, why should people join the swim team? It's a good workout for your other sports that involve running, uh, endurance, <laughs> muscle building. Yeah, it's it's a good great way to stay in shape and it's a lot of fun. So. Yeah. And are you happy with how you did so far in the season? Oh, yeah, I'm happy so far. Uh, we have tournaments this week, so we'll see how that goes. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the weather for next week. Highs 38 to 58, lows 23 to 41. Go Smithies. Beautiful, beautiful.